No, I'm filming. No, you're right. Friday and uh, we're at the Kirkmont Center me and my buddy Uncle Z are camping you can see him in the background there over by the truck we're way down from the rest of the big group and so I'll be filming throughout the weekend showing you what they're doing but uh, what we did is we set up a couple tarps facing each other it was raining last night when we pulled in and uh, kept us dry. And now we're gonna have a little breakfast, have some coffee, get ready for the day. It's gonna be in the highs of the 50s today. Got down probably close to freezing last night, but we were warm and comfortable. It's uh, gonna be a beautiful day in the woods today. So looking forward to it. So this is the Ohio central ohio bushcraft meet i think this is their second or third year doing this um the second time i've come i came last year and we're going to meet some fellows here this weekend and learn all kinds of stuff they got all kinds of activities going on blacksmithing and there's going to be a camp cook challenge and there's going to be shelter building and map and compass and just a little bit of everything so if somebody wants to come out and learn this is a good opportunity so that's it for now. Uh, we'll be seeing you later, so stick around. Was it Dwayne? Yeah. Hey, thanks for the demonstration, man. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I'm given to uh, Tracy. She commissioned me this a few years ago. I'm giving this to her today. Reeker. Static tip recurve. Jerky feathers? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. That is beautiful. Nice work. <laughs> How many hours do you think you have in the. Too many. <laughs> Too many to count, Too right? Many. I like simple bows. This challenged me, you know? But, uh, yeah, I like, I don't like making like show pieces. These are to be used. These are definitely users. Yeah. That's beautiful. Love it. Make some hard garter down on it. Ooh, cool. That's awesome. What you making? I'm roughing out a self bow from this Osage. keep it from splitting on both sides. What I like to do is take off of one corner, one corner, and then the middle. Ease it. And I've got a center line all the way down here, so I'm making sure that I'm getting as lined up as best I can. I think using a horse like this is a lot easier than uh, having your wife hold it, you know, like I do. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like, how long is this going to Come here and hold this for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure You're all right. Wendell. Yeah. I'm stuck. <laughs> That's an awesome pop. Careful, he's ferocious. You can totally tell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> take a leg right off. <laughs> My aunt actually has a dachshund. That You're mean. <laughs> they 
hold a grudge like no tomorrow. <laughs> That's how you make the magic, huh? That's how I make the movies. Hey everybody, prepare to wander underneath the tarp with my buddy Uncle Z. We're uh, getting ready to have lunch. Just got back from the bushcraft meet. Taking a little bit of a break. And we're going to be back at it. Somebody's out here making shelters at the Kirkmont Center. Looks like maybe they made these last year, I don't know. But uh, they're pretty impressive. This one's pretty nice. You get in here and you got a seat. It's a pretty nice shelter. So we went down and did the looked at the vendors today. Came back, camp had lunch. Now I'm wandering around the woods and I found these shelters that they've been building kind of cool but check them out and show you guys pretty neat Good firewood up there. Yeah. And if you need paracord, there's plenty of paracord. Really? <laughs> you have the shelters that they built, they tied them up real nice with paracord. <laughs> Poofed. That was cool. Nice.